chat, we're going to watch some more RLCS replays from a player's perspective. But this time, it's going to be NRG's Justin. This is the grand final of the first regional in the winter uh, split. And NRG coming to this one from the upper bracket. If they are able to win this one, there is no second series. They just take the major. If they lose, they will have one more opportunity to try and beat Space Station because uh, they haven't dropped a single game. Or sorry, a single match. They have dropped games so far in the major. And we're going to watch from Justin's perspective because I felt like Justin, even though he gets scored on here, had a good series in this series. And we're going to see what did Justin do right? What did he do wrong? What is so good about NRG that they seem to be the unbeatable force uh, even with these new super teams and new roster changes that are happening in the region to try and take them down. All of it is happening underneath NRG. I mean, that's just the way it goes sometimes for the best teams. If you are the team to beat, you stick it out with your roster, no reason to change, and everybody else does their best to shuffle around and see if they can take you down. And uh, I have a feeling that if you're watching this, you probably already know how this series goes, but let's just say that uh, it does seem like teams still have some work to do. Justin and the rest of his energy squad are very, very talented people. That being said, Justin does get dunked on the goal line for the first goal of this series down against Space Station. It's a best of seven. Anybody can watch any of these from the pro point of views. They are all uploaded to ball chasing and ballchasing.com that is and they're actually uploaded really really quick this time around normally it takes them a couple days or so but they were actively uploading them as the games went on a game would finish and it would be uploaded right away so you can go watch the replays from any of these players perspective i'm sure if you do you will instantly be as good as them so i highly recommend it justin that would have been nasty off the back wall had to find a tight angle but his team on offense right now. The pre-flip. Couldn't finish it off. Justin said that he played today on no sleep. What a great pass. Garrett G and Justin. The duo that just don't seem to go away. He played today on what I think chat said was two hours of sleep. All I know for sure is that Justin tweeted out that he had ended up not sleeping at all last night. And so if he threw it for his squad, uh, then he apologizes. But he far from threw it for his squad. He is coming off of a phase game seven win, I believe it was. Phase and NRG had a close grand final. Uh, or sorry, winner's final, that is, before getting to the grand final. Garrett G dropping this down. Daniel did not get to get enough save, forcing his teammates to get another clear. And Justin's too quick, giving himself and his team the lead. We watched recently already the stream Space Station and Daniel. Uh, we've watched Daniel the past couple times to see how he plays. Very reserved play style. Likes to play from behind both of his teammates uh, and make, you know, only come out and make plays when it really makes sense in the rotation. So it'll be interesting to watch what another, one of the best North American maybe, and I'm not even sure I need to put maybe in front of it, the best player in North America right now. Squishy taken off the map, but got Rettles to make that clear for him anyways. Justin turning immediately on rotation back to the Hunter boost. And a double towards the, his teammates instead of downfield is a very smart play. Getting a touch with the side of his car so that didn't go out to somebody on the orange team. Instead, just let Squishy get an immediate follow-up. But all of NRG are stuck in that right now. Garrett taking a trip out to grab a hunter, they're not going to be exposed. Justin, not sure what he's thinking with that touch, just low on boost maybe. Just putting it on the back wall of Space Station. Huge clear to Garrett, and Garrett and Arsenal, did they both whiff? Justin biding his time on this challenge. Basically refusing to go, just going to let Squishy take it instead. In fact, Justin seemed Kind of uninvolved in the play for a bit now. And the one touch he does have, catches it and helps chip it right out to midfield. Garrett and Squishy together. 
for a nice shot attempt. Daniel forced to save it away. Daniel passing him to himself at the midfield. We have seen a fairly uh, defensive Justin, a fairly uninvolved Justin a little bit at the start of this game, or sorry, the end of this game, number one. Space Station, we saw them just absolutely fight on the goal line against every team they faced. What a pre-jump by Arsenal, but squishy. Can he clear it away? Justin too quick. Daniel didn't have boost. Rettles keeping it alive though. Arsenal to Rettles. Justin has to jump that so early. I forgot. Mr. Zero Seconds. Daniel slams it in at zero seconds. Justin, he was so far underneath that. I'm surprised he had that with ball cam on. I mean, had to put up some kind of challenge, I guess, but wasn't anywhere close. Mr. Zero seconds himself. How could I have forgotten that Daniel ties up this game? Justin, really soft power shot. Not sure whether or not it was intentional. Squish is going to try and find him here in the corner. And he's taken a couple touches to drop it down. Garrett missing wide. Justin's going to put it right back in a scoring position, though. His teammate's not fast enough to do anything about it. Well, that's a big miss read by, I think, Rettles as he went flying past that. Garrett to Justin. Crossbar down. It's not in. His team couldn't finish it off. Man, Space Station getting away with one there. Garrett just floating down with a flip reset causing Space Station to have to delay their challenge. Daniel didn't connect with the ball at all though, just bumped Justin out of the way. Garrett, nice save. Squishy and Garrett both playing as the front men right now, doing the work for Justin as he waits from inside the net. Daniel passed one, Justin deciding not to dive into the corner. He wasn't close enough to the play to capitalize on the fact that Squishy was early challenging. He uh, still had enough time, that is, Daniel did, to outplay both of them. So Justin making sure not to turn in and give Daniel the opportunity to get past two. Just play it a little bit more passive. Ends up working out. Daniel on the side wall. Justin doesn't like his position. Would rather have Squishy challenge in the back line. Squishy does force Space Station to get rid of it. Justin, just too quick, man. That'll be a goal. Interesting. Rettles felt like he could potentially affect this challenge. Oh, he was swinging so wide and he just turned in late. Justin, Mr. Clutch, man. Daniel may get the uh, overtime goal, but Daniel's going to get the game. Or sorry, Justin's going to get the game winner. Justin and NRG up 1-0 in this best of seven. Justin playing the aggressor. Had faith that his team was going to have a scoring attempt if he just took out defenders, and he ended up being right. Early lead for NRG. Justin trying to get the fake. Couldn't get the defenders to fall for it too hard. He was spawning right behind him. Justin giving all the space in the world to Daniel. Daniel chasing Squishy off the ball here. Basically clearing it back himself and then taking the life of Squishy. Justin having to avoid these bump plays. Somebody in chat suggested that the reason why NRG was able to play so well against Space Station was because they were so good at dodging the demos. We've actually seen at the beginning of the game Justin doing a good job avoiding a few different bump attempts. Uh, and I'm not sure he's been demoed much at all so far. So maybe we're showing that Justin is just too evasive. Justin passed to himself up the side wall, but not really able to do anything with it. Too strong of a touch. Look at Daniel. Daniel always slowing the play down. Just refuses to launch it at that first challenge. You can even notice it from Justin's perspective. Justin up to take this out of dangerous way. Garrett 
buying past the play. Justin able to dunk it over. NRG and their squad up 1 0. Justin trying to outpace both the Space Station. He can. That'd be such a nasty double if he was able to hit it. Space Station, I think, has starved a boost. You can tell they're just kind of glued to the back wall because that ball was not one you'd expect Justin to be able to beat both defenders on. But I think because they're so low, they're just camping, trying to react with the bit of pads they do have. Justin was looking for a nasty angle, couldn't find it. He's got no hundreds to pick up, but another nice demo dodge by Justin. I think a lot of dodging the demos comes from how much you're pressuring on offense. I think it's hardest to dodge demos when the ball is completely on that back line and you have no choice but to position in the way of the play and then the defender can just, or sorry, the offender can just take you out and there's not a lot you can do to avoid it. But right now, the demos on Justin have mostly been attempted in the open field where he has a lot of movement he can make much easier to you know stay in the play, make the right move while also dodging the demos. Justin leaving that one for Garrett though and he gets forced off the line. You could tell he wasn't gonna be able to get up to make a good challenge in the corner because he already was there. Garrett had the line where he could attack it straight on. So Justin let him go, but then that resulted in him being awkward on the goal line for the save. And although he didn't get demoed, he was forced off the line. So the physical play working for Space Station despite what chat might see, but this is a good single jump over that goal line bump. But even when the bumps don't connect, doesn't mean that that uh, play style isn't working effectively. As long as you're getting defenders to take unideal touches, you know, everything adds up and eventually leads to goals. Justin trying to chip off the corner. Seeing Garrett doubling here, and I think we're going to see a full retreat from Justin, especially low on boost, seeing both of his teammates right in the same play. Somebody needs to be on defense, but Justin's early challenge got absolutely smoked. Ooh, Justin, not the best of shots. Pulled up a little too early and had to boost back in order to get a shot. Justin is so fast. I mean, on every high play, he just always seems to have the beat. He has the race one, even when it seems like he shouldn't be able to. These guys tied 1 1. Justin has some space. I'm sure Space Station does not like this. And yeah, Reddles, or sorry, Arsenal. Smart to just cut the rotation and bump Justin, but that was the own goal. That was the own goal we talked about. It was from the NRG matchup. Justin putting it in a good spot on the back wall. Rettles in this attempt to clear it ends up just getting a nasty double. I don't think Justin's shot is going in if Rettles just lets it bounce. But NRG up 2-1. Justin just needs to affect this even slightly. That is a pretty good shot. Oh, wait, I forgot the zero second ice. How do I always forget? Daniel has the zero second ice. Although really Arsenal had the zero second ice this time. Daniel just making sure he's around to finish it off. Does get credited with the goal. Justin, wow, so reactionary on that. I'm surprised he didn't turn and try and cut off angles. He just sat and waited. Let Daniel take the full on shot before trying to stop it. Garrett, the early pressure. Justin could not stop this one. Space Station going to tie up the series uh, one to one. So here's the zeros I can play. Arsenal just lobbing it full field. And then Daniel just finishes it off. I think Squishy, like who made the mistake here? Was it Squishy? Garrett loses that 50 pretty bad. Oh yeah, but Squishy, Squishy just gets demoed. And then commits to getting this 100. Like, he just doesn't need to get the 100. He thinks Justin is going to affect the play. Like, touch it at all. And Squishy's like, oh, wait a second. I shouldn't have gotten out there. <laughs> if Justin just camps on the back... Or, sorry, if Squishy just camps on the back line. Like, 
there's a 0% chance that he gets scored on. He can absolutely 50 that with Daniel. Alrighty. Game number three. 1-1 one, one between these two teams. NRG and Space Station. Heroics from the zero second assassin once again, this time. Results in a win for Dan. Justin looked like he had that one. Yeah, but what's the what's the reason that Squishy should cheat up there? With a uh, one goal lead, 10 seconds left to go. All that matters is something weird doesn't pop out to your goal line. Um, so I, I don't know. It, it seems like not cheating up all the way to the midfield is the right play. It's super easy to say in retrospect. Nice play by Arsenal outplaying Justin here to put his team up one. I would say Justin's doing the job of putting pressure in that situation by pre-jumping it and trying to affect the hit. Reddles pacing Daniel. Now Garrett's looking for him. Two defenders up, but he created an opportunity that just barely Squishy wasn't able to finish. Garrett, I, want, I don't know if he was looking for Justin or not. But he lobs it way too high if he was. That was a really nice pass. But all of Space Station in net there. It's going to be really hard for Justin to get it past them. <laughs> I think somebody remembers how this game went. Justin is just figurating in net right now. Waiting for his opportunity to affect the play. Doesn't have any boost to pick up in any corner. Interesting kill. Not trying to slam into the 50. Just wants to tap it soft. Kill it down to his teammate. Garrett to Justin, dude. Justin is so lethal on offense, man. Those passes upfield, when they're headed to Justin, you always know the power of the placement going to be right on point. Justin to himself. The double is saved away, but I mean, not cleared away. Creating offense for his team. Justin slowing this one down. Killed it to himself. Letting himself go ISO. Reddles almost finished it off for him. But Daniel saves it away. Garrett and Justin looking for each other once again. Arsenal dropping it down to a dangerous spot, but no offenders there, so not really a problem. Garrett, you got to think he's looking past the Justin again. Garrett and Justin, such a dynamic duo. Daniel could not take Justin out of the play. I think he... Uh, was expecting more to come out of his dribble. It was so far away from the net. Justin didn't really need to panic. And that's when you have to, you know, or that's when you are able to connect on those aggressive demo plays. Or when you know that defender who's in a panic position has to make a certain move. Justin, interesting adjustment at the end there to try and win the 50. Ended up losing it. Or maybe that's exactly what he wanted. He just wanted to keep it glued to the side wall where his teammates can affect it. Justin, a double. What was that missed touch from Reddles? Flew underneath that. Can't imagine that was on purpose. Reddles, man, that's the top demoer in the game right now. Not even Justin can evade the wrath of Reddles. Garrett and Squishy looking for each other. NRG, the infield passes are so nasty with it. Garrett almost able to finish that one off. Squishy keeping the pressure. Justin trying to slow it down. But can't do much with it. He does force Daniel into the early shot so that Garrett can get the save. Look at Arsenal. <laughs> coming through, dude. Space Station is always coming to take you out of that net. Justin tapping that one off the wall. Break up Arsenal's play. 
and this this was it this was it chat if you guys didn't already see you, you can't tell from justin's perspective so we will watch it again um you'll notice that an nrg teammate did not score here uh let's let's watch it from arsenal's perspective you never realize how passive justin is. it's kind of interesting to see you know both daniel and justin both play super passive oh it's just <laughs> uh rip arsenal is hoping you know he's, he, he's he's just taking the fastest path back to the play it seems like he's like getting ready to redirect this shot off the backboard if he needs to and sometimes kind of positioning where the shooter would be is the best way to get a clear because you're kind of like one step ahead of the shooter and you can you can take a bad shot instead of a good shot to like it's kind of like a, a decent panic defense it seems like that's kind of what arsenal's trying to do <laughs> and then daniel just drops it right in front of him and uh he he own goes it <laughs> so not the best play <laughs> wish my teammates stopped own goaling yeah maybe we'll throw up uh daniel's tweet if i remember to edit this part of the youtube video of what daniel had to say about that performance as well as i think rattles his own goal off the back wall daniel his carry he pulls off it to demo justin to let it get to the back wall smart because justin did have the challenge but squishy will slam it to the ground and nrg get the dub off of the own goal to go up two to one rattles getting 50 down Justin's just going to wait. Doesn't feel like Daniel's dribble is going to really result in any sort of actual striking chance. So he sits and just camps waiting to see what's going to happen. Here, once again, he's actually playing really passive. He does not want to come at Arsenal. He sees Arsenal setting up his play and reverses, pulling out of it. It's not very often you see a pro or anybody in high-ranked lobbies legitimately reversing. Reversing is very, very slow. You can't boost in reverse. And it just kind of kills all of your pace. So it's not very often that you'll see players want to reverse. Usually they'll, you know, use team rotations to get into a good position instead. They'll just challenge and accept the fact their challenge won't be very good. But know that somebody who doesn't need to reverse behind them will potentially, you know, have a better play. But apparently Justin doesn't mind reversing. I don't think... Justin was going to get there. Luckily, Squishy booming that save away. Daniel double tapping to himself. Couldn't get the triple tap, though. You can go supersonic with backflips. Sure, yeah. I guess if you just continually backflip, you could eventually get supersonic. Justin, almost able to snipe a goal. Daniel, trying to do a bit of a solo play, drop that ball, start a dribble. Justin exposes him for it. Now Justin has to make a goal line save after Daniel tries to ISO the entire team. A nice triple commit on defense from NRG. But all that matters is that they keep it out. Daniel just finds himself dribbling so often it feels like every time space station gets control it's daniel trying to air dribble it out of their half justin has to react late using probably a lot more boost than he would have liked to and couldn't get back to the second touch his team's in a tough spot squishy though gets a good challenge arsenal can't 50 it passed and squishy Taken off the map high in the air, man. Rettles just absolutely constantly looking for demos. Doesn't matter if they're on the ground or not. He wants to play against less defenders. Nice challenge. Well timed by Justin to get a good pinch. Completely relieve any of the pressure that Space Station did have. Rettles a big miss, but kind of fake Justin out. You see Justin pull away actually gives time for Arsenal to follow it up. So not the end of the world that Rettles misses there. All these demos just to take the L. I think it's funny how much people hate demos, especially in ones. The YouTube comments, there's always somebody who says, blank person always just demos. 
I'm glad they didn't win. Or if they did win, they only won because they just demo. And, and there's almost no pattern with it. You'd think that you like certain players would get the rap for demoing more often, but it just seems like whoever is mad, if you're if you don't like a player, you just you remember every time they demo, and you're like, ah, all that person does is they demo. Garrett, good shot, sent high though. Good team play to get the clear. No offense at all in the beginning of this game. Patience as both these teams understand the weight of this one. Squishy going to kill it. Take it for a dribble on the back wall. It's a great clear. Good scoring opportunity. Justin just a little bit late though. And now Space Station maybe with a great opportunity. But it gets 50 down. So overtime in what I believe is game number four. NRG up two to one. Early possession in favor of Space Station. That's a nice tap down, but Squishy cuts it off. Daniel was looking for Rettles. Justin to the back wall. Couldn't have hoped for much to come from that. Saw the defenders waiting back there. He's gonna clear completely out of the play in order to get his 100. Garrett, that's a great catch. Late challenge from Space Station. Let's Garrett get away with that. Challenge him before he gets to the ground. Doesn't get any sort of reset on a flip. Can't really get an outplay. Sometimes the timing, the boost just doesn't work out. Justin sees Rettles in the air, decides it'd be much easier to react to that shot than attempt to challenge early. And Justin cannot ISO against everybody in the Space Station defense. Now he tries to pace over one. The double, Justin, is inevitable. A nasty shot to get the only goal of game number four and to put his team up three to one. Game five of NRG and Space Station. We are watching from not so juicy Justin's perspective. Slumping Justin all the time. The world continues to wait to find out what Justin plays like when he's not slumping. Justin really badly wanted to get two touches there, but the corner ate up the play. Did not let him stick with it. Nice cut of rotation though. Justin flipping to get a flip reset, only using it for the wave dash. Garrett, this would be a nasty double, but Daniel says no. Nice dodge, man. Justin is very aware of where the players are on the field. Not gonna let himself get taken out of the play at midfield. The only time we've really seen him demoed is completely on the goal line. Arsenal outpaced. At least bumps Justin off the ball. We see once again these, you know, top players more than willing to play out of the back line when needed from their teams. So many people are dying. We don't get the indicators of who's dying where, uh, but it's not Justin. Everyone else is just eating each other alive while he carries it down the field. Rettles pinch with the seat under the back wall. Oh my goodness, what a play. Daniel able to save it though, had been camped out. And that's why you always have to be ready at any point. Uh, you know, that counterattack came so quick with the one-two touch from Justin to Squishy. And if you're not always expecting that full field play, you might get caught out. But that's one of the things that Daniel has been doing well for Space Station when we've watched him. Squishy, I wonder if he's gonna look to Justin here. Oh, he's going ISO off the ceiling, cleared away. You gotta get that talk out of my mind. No, I'm talking about Justin himself always says that he's slumping. 
Of course, he's juicy. We all know it. All of us know it to be true. He has yet to figure that out. Justin trying to get back to that play after he tapped it away a little bit too much separation. I was hoping to be able to dunk it, but could not stick with it. Got it himself some time. A full field clear. Justin pinching it off the back wall. I'm oh, sorry, Daniel pinched it off the back wall. Justin gonna leave this one for a teammate. Squishy who's already in the corner. Mistake on the clear. And Carrot also is gonna miss. Rettles is just being so aggressive. Arsenal as well, dude. Space Station, man. Justin had already dodged multiple demo attempts before they eventually scored. But you cannot afford to make a mistake because Squishy's mistouch and then Garrett not getting a continuation, it's just gonna result in uh, Space Station having so much time to eventually take you out. Justin had just been waiting in net for a long, long time. Arsenal finally killing him. Daniel, a nasty flip reset. Justin says no. That's the kind of stuff that works when there's only one defender. Would well, that have been a nasty double? Garrett, a defensive demo, will buy his team some time. Arsenal slaps right back. Interesting that Justin felt like he didn't have time to pick up that corner boost. Felt like his team was in trouble and turned in field, even though the ball was decently far away from the play. Justin, great map presence. Recognizing no one's around him. Gonna go ISO over Rettles. The shot saved though. It's a great pass from Squishy, dropping it right down to Garrett. Squishy getting targeted by this Justin dribble. And a bit of a mistouch from Squishy. We've seen a couple of those setups not go perfectly for him. Double off the back wall. Too many Space Station defenders there. 20 seconds left to go and a 1-0 lead for the Space Station squad. Justin staying up field, trying to get some action going. He knows his team needs it. He'll finally retreat for some boost. Massive clear. Justin able to get it over the Rettles challenge. Squishy couldn't get it down to Garrett though. Daniel, ooh, not able to finish it off. Never mind, there it is. Now it'll hit the ground. Game number five going to Space Station. 3-2 in favor of NRG. Game number six. Mr. Justin's perspective. Is he the best player in North America? Well, not a lot of people would argue against it. How does he play the game? We're finding out right now. Oh my goodness, this shot is nutty. Wait, I don't remember how good this shot was. I feel like I watched this game live. But Justin all the way from the back line. Ceiling reset shot. Oh my, wait, that's actually insane. Okay, I forgot that one. I got surprised. I'll be honest. I did not realize Justin had that nutty of a shot using the ceiling reset. Starting it literally from partially on his own back wall. Truly, truly a nutty shot. The goalie got bumped as well. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking for that. But I guess Garrett or Squishy taking out some defenders. Justin looking for bumps for kind of the first time from him this series. We actually really haven't seen Justin play too physical. Uh, especially after the perspectives we were watching before. Justin has been okay just playing his game. But yeah, I mean, you could tell just in the past 30 seconds has felt the need to search for some demos, search for some bumps. I wonder if, you know, those kind of adjustments are ever made by coaches mid-series. Suggesting, hey, you guys need to get physical as well. That's what's working for, uh, for Space Station. Because that last goal, th this adjustment too is interesting coming off the last goal where Space Station won 1-0 because of super physical play on the goal line. Justin last back, not gonna risk going in for what maybe could have been a tough shot attempt. Great 50. 
with Daniel, who is completely hiding behind the ball. Justin putting pressure at midfield, not backing off either, just cutting immediately midfield to get the next challenge attempt. He's now stuck on the back line, doesn't have much boost. So swing around, pick up some pads, and Reddles wasn't really able to play the dribble fast enough. The classic Reddles move, tried to slow it down, set it up into a scoring spot, and then take out some defenders, but this time doesn't work. Did we end up saving the real dub? Yes, the real dub has been brought back. And he was here. And he primed instantly after he came back. It was truly amazing. It was everything we could have hoped for. Garrett, decent fake. I think it might have been out of necessity. I'm not sure he had much boost to continue that play. But Space Station certainly thought he did as they hovered behind. Justin giving a dribble. He's got Daniel alone, but he could not figure it out. Daniel has clear. Not good enough. Justin and his squad. A nice solo play by Justin. The credit for the goal will go to somebody else, but Justin, the one making the outplays, setting up the opportunity. Oh, dude, the real dub is still here, dude. Let's go, man. Garrett, nice interception. Double, but Justin didn't really have faith. You could tell, waiting to see if Garrett was actually going to hit it. Quick reactions to get this clear. Justin doesn't have much, though. So, yeah, Squishy's going to back off, too. Squishy taking off the map. Reynolds 50. What a save to keep that out of net. That is a crazy, crazy save. Justin, dunk pass one in the corner. NRG all on the back line. Playing a little preservation here with a minute left to go. Two goal lead. The Garrett to Justin. Or I think that might have been squishy to Justin this time around. The connection we've seen a lot. Justin finally demoed at the midfield. He has managed to stay alive at the midfield at all times. But right as the series potentially coming to an end, they finally take him out in the midfield. Justin thought Arsenal was getting there, decided not even to jump to try and set up that pass, but Arsenal was missing. Space Station, their passing play, shut down. 30 seconds for Space Station. Justin, man, all of a sudden, his perfect record of staying alive has gone away completely in this final game. It's a great 50 down to get his teammate. They don't even need these shot attempts. Justin just waiting on the back line. Daniel doesn't even really have much choice. He has to shoot quick. They need a goal now and another one quick after that. So slowing the play down, not really an option. Justin, one more shot attempt. That'll do it. 3-0 at zero seconds. Justin and NRG taking the first winter regional. You may think that NRG had an easy run, but at the end of the day, they beat the second and third place teams pretty confidently uh you got to give credit to justin and his nrg squad they continue to be the team to beat man the roster shuffle but nrg still on top